Howdy folks, Grok the Dragonheaded here, and I'm on the FTOG Feed the Beast Skies server, hanging out here way in the air because I've got a dragon head. And I went out to the castle in the sky and explored it a whole bunch more and, and raided and looted a whole bunch of things. And I found this head and I, I looked at the head and I said, oh, wow, protection five. That's cool. Respiration three. That's cool. Aqua Infinity Borns 20. I didn't notice the curse of stupid binding that's on the bottom there, which means I can't remove this off my head. But it should go away when I die. So that's my plan. Uh, speaking of, of dying, uh, if we take a look at my chest, this is some of the loot that I looted out of there. Uh, a whole bunch of blocks here. I'm glad to get the coral. Uh, let's see other things that I'm really interested in. Uh, zombie statue. Uh, I did get some totems of a dying. I had looted one of those elsewhere. Um, got a dragon egg, got other dragon heads. <laughs> There's tons of stuff, tons of, of actual beacon beacons and not the fake ones they have. Just a bunch of, of cool stuff that I looted out of there. You know, lots and lots of wither roses. So bunch of good stuff, but I got a stupid dragon head on my head. And, and it really affects the vision. Uh, everything's you can see, it should be black. It's got that purplish glow. I've got night vision on right now. But that's just really annoying. So let's do this. I want to go into here and I'm going to remove light. So I go splat and hopefully that will take care of my problem there. Oh, three levels right there. And down we go. First, we should see my wind generator farm. Nope, I missed it. Ah! What? I didn't die from that? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's terrible. Uh, I, I got some dripstones here because uh, Middleclaw wanted some to. He had four and I had four because of the, the quest. And he was saying he wanted to make dripstone so he could make more of this. And so I said, here, take four because you can put four together and make a dripstone. He said, just give me, you know, back, you know, five. Well, he gave me back seven, which is better. I'm going to stand right here. And uh, because if you drop on a dripstone, you should take more damage. See, you should take more damage when you do that. Uh, so let me actually fly up. I said fly. Oh, I don't have fly. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. Uh, this time I'm going to take off my uh, kitty slippers because um, I'm I'm wondering if that changes anything uh there's nothing on here that prevents fall damage no that that prevents other some things oh i wonder if it's my totem of undying okay let's take that off and get rid of that and anything else i got lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of hearts so yeah i think that should be it I'm going to put this into my backpack. All right, let's try this again. Uh, 600 plus blocks up. Light, goodbye. Down we go. <laughs> There's the, the wind generators. And I'm going to land on the dripstone. And it should take all my health. Yay! <laughs> all right, cool. Uh, so now, I why did it go down here? Oh, I slept down there. Okay, okay, because I wanted to go up here. And up here, I want to add my armor on. Okay, so now nothing should happen. Uh, let's see. I want to... No, I'm looking at the wrong thing. I want to go into here and put my backpack, not on my head, on my back. All right. At this point, I should... How much XP? Uh, seven out of 30. All right, let's uh, open this. There's the dragon head. Up oh, diggity, up oh, diggity. Uh, I, I wanted to put armor on because I wanted to make sure that that dragon head didn't pop back on top of my armor. But now I've got the, the silly dragon head uh, taken care of. And why is the feeding still happening? I said block. Oh, well, we'll, we'll allow it to, to uh, feed me up. Oh, uh, well, there we go. <laughs> I got my dragon head off. <laughs> That's the first time I've actually had Curse of Binding on me. And I was, wasn't sure that uh, suicide would take care of it, but uh, yep, took care of it. And uh, now I can take a look. Oh, no flight. I, I need some more levels. Do you like my speed? 
Um, uh, I was saying how I disliked uh, speed because it was really noisy, ignoring with the, the, the change of point of view. And I got this comment that you go into accessibilities and you can turn the FOV effects off. Now you could do the same thing underneath the video settings. Uh, oh, this is different than, um, there's an option in here. Uh, I'm trying, I, I don't see it where you, you get a, a distortion because of your speed and you can actually change the POV settings there. Uh, but you have to fiddle with it. And as it changes, you know, as you go from speed three to speed five or something like that, uh, it changes. And why am I going down here? I don't know. I want to put the flight back on. Ta-da! Flight back. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Very nice. All right. Uh, now I need to tidy up my stuff and um, uh, laugh at the fact that I had to kill myself because of the silly dragon head. <laughs> so the still is not disappearing. I, I've got it connected. It should be exporting. For some reason, it's not. I'm guessing after I log off and log in later, it will start. But there's some really cool spells on here, like the Sharpness 20 and Looting 10. Those are two ones I would really like to add onto my sword here. And so one of the things I want to do is yank these spells off. And for that, uh, the Disenchanter from Cyclic looks like a, a definite way to do that. Uh, Emerald Enchanting... Obsidian pressure plates, all those crystallized obsidian. Well, I made one of those before and I've got the setup for that. So over here, I just added the melting chamber, piping the fluid here into the solidification chamber. It's already ready. It says two slime balls should be sufficient. So we'll dump that. Oh, I should have moved that over. Can I do that? Okay, there we go. So that should be, yep, it's sufficient because it only needed like half a block's worth. Anyway, so this should give me the purple, what's it, magical stuff that I need. Crystallized amber, crystallized obsidian. What is this one? Yeah, crystallized obsidian that uses absolutely no obsidian in the recipe, but that's okay. Uh, so if I do that, I can now make the disenchanter because I had everything else. At this point, uh, I don't know if this actually needs... Oh, it looks like it does need power. Okay, so I have to keep that down here. Well, in that case, let's break that. I don't need these guys here anymore. And I can put the disenchanter here. And I think... Let's say always on is, is fine. Uh, if I set this up like that and i put something in here like the the gold sword cool it's not doing anything i was hoping it wouldn't just automatically yank that let's grab some books Boop. there we go uh let's grab a stack of books because i've got lots and if i put a stack of books in here oh it needs xp i think well, if I hit this and say you for use, uh, so only one at a time, um, to me, I read that as it doesn't need, no, that's, that says the books go here. That goes here. Uh, it's always on. Yeah. Yeah, Millie, I don't know why it's not working. Why do you think? Uh, she doesn't know. Uh, so I guess I need some uh, XP. Well, if I have to go the cyclic route, I need this experience pylon. Maybe it's cyclic. I'm going to go cyclic. I, th I think that sounds better. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and grab that little bad boy. Uh, let's, I'm going to go over this one. Uh, let, oop, oop. And here we have this. Now, if I put the pylon here, I should be able to export XP out. The question is, how do I get XP into the pylon? Can I just right click? Nope. <laughs> Can I crouch right click? Nope. So it needs XP to drop into it. Uh, if I right click you, now I can't do this. It's always on. Uh, this needs XP to be spewed at it, which makes me go, really? Uh, the other, so, so if, if I had uh, enchanting, let's take a look. 
do I have? Uh, no. Uh, bottles. Yeah, I don't have any bottles of enchantment. That's that's what I'm thinking of, right? Let's stop. Look, there we go. Let's. I'm clicking right here. Clicking right there. There we go. Uh, enchant. Enchanting enchantment. The, yeah, these these guys. These right here. Bottle. Oh, enchanting. Interesting. I can take a book and a rock. Huh. I can infuse stuff. Yeah. Uh, I can solidify, but then I've got to have the the XP to, to make that. Uh, the other option is I could take this down to the mob farm and see if it will pick up uh, some XP there. I don't know if it will... Oh, hey. I, uh, whoops, I just, uh, let's go back upstairs. I just had me a thought. Let's come over here. Let's say how did the goose. If I drop this down here and I stand on top of this and then I vein mine, it got a bunch of, of uh, XP there. Cool, because I've got the enchant, what is it? La, 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 la. Experience boost three is the one that uh, makes it so as I break stuff with my pick, it gives me XP. That was five buckets worth of XP. <laughs> I like that idea. I think that's an excellent way to do this. And I could use my uh, wand to, to place this stuff down. Okay, so I've got five and a half buckets. Does it keep its contents? Survey said it does. Cool. All right, that... I think it's the easiest way for me to put XP into the system. So now if I come over here and I drop you there and I need to set you up to export. Oh. Wow. That just uh, cranked through a whole bunch of books. Okay, so there's the curse of vanishing. I don't care about that. Mending, sweeping edge, looting, all of those. Nice. Okay. Um, let's look at the dragon head. This guy here. The this was the one that gave me the problems in the first place. So let's uh, toss him in there. Alrighty. So there's protection. Uh, sharpness looting. There's the protection ten. Respiration. Aqua infinity. Thorns, yes. So the, the thorns would be interesting to get tossed onto to something. Uh, I'm also looking at, you know, I've got some armor here. This is protection four, but protection 10 would be good. Uh, this has no protection on it, it, but it does have, you know, 19 and, you know, plus armor. So that's really good. Plus 18 armor here. Yeah, a lot of these things need to be uh, redone. Uh, let's, you know, I don't care about either of those spells. Let's toss those in there. Uh, one of the things that, that's really handy with something like this, let's take the protection and you know I'm tempted if if mobs are going to attack me that would be a grand thing to have. Uh, unbreaking would be good to have it on it as well as mending. Uh, see those are other things. Protection for uh, respiration is handy although yeah, <laughs> the aqua affinity is nice if I'm underwater, but I'm in a void world. There's no water. So uh, let's try something. I wasn't thinking of doing this, but we'll give no, <laughs> don't put it on. I want to put it here onto the Batania area. And now I've got these four spells I want to put on it. I need my wand. And I'm also going to take off my magnet because I don't want my magnet to pick up anything. So with that there, I can toss it down and it seems to put them on in the order I toss them down. So protection, thorns, unbreaking, mending, right click. And I count the clicks. Two, three, 
four. It's going to put all four of those spells on there. And you heard that clunk, because there's a lot of XP, not XP, but a lot of mana going into this. Holy cow, that's a lot of mana. That is a lot of mana going in. Uh, but that uh, makes me very, very happy. There we go. Grab those spells up so they don't get messed. And let me pick up my helmet. It's got all of those spells on them. Holy cow, that is very nice. Uh, and I still have my repair over here. So if, if I do kill some mobs and whatnot, it will go ahead and, and repair it through the mending. But I can also repair it separately. That's really nice. Um, you know, the, the Thorns 10. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm really curious how fast that will make mobs die when they attack me. Uh, oh, you can see the the mana shooting through there. Uh, we can also see the distance that these things uh, will will work in because I uh, put that back in place. I went ahead and uh, one of the uh, one of the quests gave me the mana seer monocle. Oh, I think it was yes, this one, the wand of the forest one. And so I went ahead and stuck that on. So now I can look at these flowers and I can see the distance that they're working in, which is handy for for seeing it. But I also like being able to see that right there, which is which is cool. All right. That makes me happy. All right. I just came over here to vein mine a bunch of this to get XP in here. And I realized if I stand on top of this thing and crouch, there goes my levels really fast too. Oh, that's weird. It's slowed down. Uh, the, the first bunch, it went really fast. Anyway, um, yeah. Strange the way that it's going away. However, now I have a huge amount of, of XP in here and uh, I'm done. I, I don't need to do any silly vein mining stuff. That's the way to get the, the XP. Look at all that. I am very happy to announce that my client has been online and connected to the server for over 72 hours, which is massive because I would typically get disconnected 10 plus times a day just because my network was flaky. So something has been rock solid for the last three days, which is great. And at most of it has just been AFK. I've been off doing things elsewhere, and so I've not been doing much. But I did do a little bit uh, today. Uh, I upgraded this with some of the botanic uh, additions. So one thing I've got here is the Elven Altar. It, and the nice thing about this is it uses a spark. So it is so fast, plus I can get rid of that uh, that uh, mana spreader that's underneath because those tick a lot. I also have increased my mana production, still using the end of flames here with the, uh, the blaze meshes underneath. You can hear a tick every so often. That's when it's spitting out a new one. That's still working, that's great. These are the energizers, <laughs> whatever. These are consuming RF or FE and producing mana. You can see little lasers going pew, 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 pew. Uh, that's where it's grabbing a uh, bit of energy here from the, the power cube that I have underneath. And that's been working great. I also went ahead and upgraded my Terra Steel to the, the Gaia agglomeration plate so I can make uh, additional bits. Made the Terra Catalyst. It pretty much only allows you to split the... Uh, click on this one. It lets you split these Gaia Spirits into these shards. And uh, I used that to make this plate. And uh, so it, it, it does, it's supposed to be much faster. These also are the Gaia Steel pylons. They're supposed to be better, like four times cheaper as far as uh, doing stuff here through the, the Elven Gateway. And I think I'm done with doing everything in the Elven Gateway. So I'm going to break that and replace it uh, just because that ticks something fierce. And it's really bad programming on the part of Botania. Uh, it checks to make sure all these blocks are in place. Every tick, which is really stupid. It should be instead checking once this is formed and it's okay, it should check for a break event or a block move event and then change things. And okay, I'll stop uh, ranting about that. Anyway, so so that's working. Oh, I also went ahead and using the uh, the, the Gaia 
uh, ingot, I went ahead and upgraded my band of mana. So as I slowly uh, generate to mana, it will have four times as much as what it had before, which is, I think, four times as much as the, the first one. So I have lots of mana on me, which is good. Uh, one of the things I want to do is make a, a mana blaster so I can spit out lights instead of using torches. Because I'm not a big fan of torches on the ground, which is why I have uh, these glimmering flowers and no torches on the ground. Anyway, uh, let's go take a look at some other stuff here real quick. Uh, one of the things I want to do is uh, make some of these shelves to upgrade my enchanting stuff. Yeah, you know, let's get rid of the MA here stuff. There, now it's clean. Uh, and so I need 16 of these pearlescent end shelves, and I also need three of these draconic end shelves. So let's make these first. Uh, let's make, okay, I need to make, well, let's check this. The Draconic needs the end shelf. Okay, so I, I need 16 plus 3, so I need 19 of these end shelves. Unfortunately, I went and killed the dragon a bunch of times and got some dragon breath. So let's go ahead and get 19 of these. There we go. Uh, so I should be able to make a bunch of these. Let's take... Uh, one, two, three. This way I can make 16 only. There we go. And then I can make these guys. All right. So with this, I'm going to upgrade my enchantment setup real quick because I need to boost the values that are in here. Right now it's 1500, which is nice. Zero and zero. So I'm going to get rid of these guys and let's put the draconic shells here. And we went from 15 to 28 Eterna, which is, which is good. Uh, now I need to take 16 of these uh, and let's get rid of all of these skulls. All right. So this And we're now at 50.95. Okay, so we're missing one of the uh, quanta. I can just put a skull back. And whoops. And so now we're 50, 100, 100. So that's good. But I want to bump up my rectification some. And uh, that's what I've got these other bits. So uh, this will increase my quanta, which I think my quanta right now. Actually, I don't really need to do that. Uh, I do want to change, uh, I do want some of these, uh, shelves of a masterful site. So I think I'll make those next. Uh, for that, I can do all this. Do need to make some night vision potions. I can do that. Site. Shelf of sight. Gold, spyglass, more night vision. I can do that. Infused hell shelf. So that's a hell shelf where I have at least 22.5 Eterna. Got that. At least 30 Quanta. Got that. Any Arcana. Uh, but I need to make a health shelf. I can do this. And here is my setup. And I, I'm, I'm liking it. Uh, it's max Eterna, max Quanta, max Akana, max Rectification, and nine clues as far as what the spells are. It, can you do better? Sure. But this is going to work for me. So here's what I ended up in this pack doing. I've got three of these Draconic End Shelves. And underneath it, I've got five of the end fused rectification shelves. Uh, that gives me rectification 100. And then I've got seven here and seven there. So that's uh, 14 of the pearlescent end shelves. And then I have four of the shelves of masterful sight. And then two sets of wither skulls just to, you know, finish up the thing. Uh, and, and done. <laughs> it's worked. So I've got a, a diamond sword and a book. Let's see what this produces. Yeah, it does need a hundred levels, <laughs> but uh, there's some nice spells on here. I am very much liking the Vorpal because that makes it a really nasty sword as well as capturing. So yes, I'm going to go ahead and grab that and let's toss in a book here. Oops, I no longer have uh, some levels. Let's get three more levels. Toss in the book. Uh, Vitality, Air, Leech, I'm not sure if I care that much about those. The last stand, Steady Body, I have already got that on one of my things, I think. Uh, you know, 
possibly the venom because I don't. Oh no, I got a higher venom. Yeah, I'm not gonna enchant that book. Uh, I, instead, I'm gonna take this in here and uh, let's get all these books off of here because uh, yeah, I, I want some of these uh, specifically. I want uh, not leech, curse of binding. It, I should have pulled these out because they're frost. That's not bad. Uh, venom is is nice because it poisons the the. If you're gonna be fighting something for a while, that I definitely want. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, then that capturing also I definitely want. So let's see if I look at this uh, sweeping edge four. That's not bad. I definitely want to bump up the sharpness on here and the the capturing. So uh, this will definitely help it. Uh, I thought it. Yeah, here's a looting X. I definitely want to do that. I could put these on here individually, or I could enchant this with my Britannia downstairs, and I think I may do that instead. So, anyway, I get to upgrade my uh, my weapons and stuff to a much better system, and, and you can see I've got netherite uh, chest armor instead of that glowstone, because I found some diamond armor that had better health stats, added a few little uh, bits to it, and boom, now I'm all netherite along with my Paxel. I'm all netherite -y. <laughs> Anyway, I, I, I'm really glad to get this uh, set up for enchanting. There are some options to have some different stats, and then you can do imbuing that makes devices permanent. But the only thing I see that works with are charms, and I'm not sure I care. You know, they're definitely useful, but right now I'm going, eh. <laughs> Oh, I went downstairs. Uh, anyway, uh, so I've got the enchanting working, and I'm glad for that, and it makes me happy. Anyway, this has been Grok the Duck Farmer here, playing on the FTOG Feed the Sky server, and having a blast. And thanks for watching. Bye.